Legendary hockey player Bobby Hull has died. Hull, who played professional hockey from 1957 to 1980, helped the Chicago Blackhawks win the Stanley Cup. He also won the WHA Avco Cup in Winnipeg three times. Hull was a fan favorite, but as Karen Pauls reports, he was also a controversial figure. That speed and slap shot is what made Bobby Hall a scoring sensation. Well, Bobby Hull was a, a player who used every inch of the ice back when he played. But more importantly, he had a slap shot that was, that was um, caught at going 118 miles an hour. In 1961, Hall helped lead Chicago to its first Stanley Cup in 23 years. He was the first NHL player to score more than 50 goals in a single season. He's still 55th on the NHL's all-time scoring list. I'm sure that our league is going to get under motion and we're going to have some real fine hockey. In 1972, Hall became the first hockey player to earn a million dollars, leaving the NHL to sign with the Winnipeg Jets of the Upstart World Hockey Association. Bobby Hull was arguably the greatest hockey player around in the late 60s and early 70s. A golden jet on the ice, a fan favorite off the ice. But there was controversy, too. There were uh, documented episodes of violence against his second wife, Joanne, um, that he did not deny and, and, and in fact, uh, confirmed in uh, court. Although Hull denied it later, he allegedly told an English-language newspaper in Russia that Hitler had some good ideas but went a little bit too far. You could make a case that he's the most influential figure uh, in hockey history to that point. And uh, really, he should be in the conversation with Gretzky in terms of his, his influence. But he's not. And it's simply because of the personal history that has come out. Hey, Joe, how you, how you doing? Well, it's a sad day, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. But that's not what Hull's former teammates are remembering him for. Most of the goaltenders he faced... Uh, were a little scared of, and uh, and they didn't like that uh, slap shot coming at their head. I had my eyes shut most of the time, so I really don't. I really don't know. An influence on current Jets too. He was a great player for this organization, but also in terms of you know building and making and helping what the NHL is today. Just an, uh, it's an unreal hockey player. It's obviously the stats will tell us speak for itself. Bobby the Winnipeg Jets are planning a memorial ahead of tonight's game. Bobby Hall was 84. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.